I've always been a, a huge uh, proponent of free speech and freedoms and rights, that everybody should have the power to choose. That was given to you by God that you can choose what you don't want to do with your life and where you want to go in life and also what you want to say in life. So when we talk about those people who, by the way, welcome me, and I didn't trust the police and their security. I've got a lot of experience with them. Um, they're not very good at their job. So, um, you know, <laughs> Mr. Mitch, Mitch I, can, um, I can help your police force because my guys from nowhere when I was walking up and I, took, I brought my men, some of the men um, that are with me to do my security because they are tops. And right out of nowhere came a guy flying through with a two litre bottle full of SHIT and urine to throw at me, right? So he was taken out, I just saw a flash and one of my guys did a tackle right midriff, whacked him onto the ground and before he was able to know what was happening, another guy came running through with another bottle of crap. And he was going to throw it to another one of my guys, smashed him into the road too. The police, by this time, were like, oh, something's happening. <laughs> <laughs> and, and one of the bottles broke and it sprayed over the police where it belongs. <laughs> right? And I'm telling you, that stuff stunk. That's why you couldn't go out and what Bob was saying, going out there, you know. It was a, it was a horrible stench. You know, that's not a nice thing to do to a nice man like me. 